The tag team oh, action underway here. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. He hits a huge elbow drop. Right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Bailey has spent her whole career with many of her peers doubting her abilities. The competition tends to overlook Bailey and disregard her accomplishments. I'm always perplexed as to why Bailey doesn't receive more respect. Looks to be focusing on the arm now. Tag. What are we going to see here? Nothing fancy, but very effective. Michael, to pick up on what you said about Bailey not getting respect, it dates all the way back to her time at NXT. You would think after her success there, no one would really underestimate her again. I'll sum up the answer. Bailey came over to larger waters up against bigger fish, and now she's just happy with her spot at the king table while the adults run the women's division. He comes up big there. Sling blade! His kick connects. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and... Well, how do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. He's just so quick. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag. Balor looking to end it. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. This might be the opportunity he needed. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Cody Cross. Here's his chance to win it. He's got the shoulders down. Gets the shoulder up before three. Not yet. What's he got in mind? During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Can he finish the job? So damaging. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look at that. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Big move! It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh my goodness! Crushing it! Will this be enough? And the shoulder gets up in time. Gonna take more than that. Finn Balor going high risk. Balor looking to end it. Guys, it's easy to say NXT. Cody Gross. Here's his moment, Michael. And Finn Balor might have just secured the victory. Cover here. And he stops the count. He lands the strike with great accuracy. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for, the win.
Touching on Michael's point about Finn Balor's time in NXT, Finn's time wasn't only beneficial to NXT. The two years Balor spent at NXT made him the man he is today and the performer he is in the ring. Balor is the longest reigning NXT champion there's ever been. He was champion for 292 days. That means being in the main event of every show, every night of the week. Here he goes. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength. He hits a huge power slam. That might have done it, Cole. There's the pin. One. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team... No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? Boy, he is rolling. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. And Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Gets the tag. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. And he comes crashing down. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. And now he goes for it a second time. Nice escape from the cradle. And believe me, that was a lot harder to get out of than it looked. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this end. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. It's a count out victory here tonight. Hey, a win's a win, but I'm not sure if there are many people on the roster that would want to get the win like this. What an effort we saw here. Truly a great match.